Do you personally mm -hmm. think that the epigenetic clock plays a causal role in aging? Do you think? Yeah, let me answer it in two ways. Um, it clearly relates to a process that plays a causal role, you know. And um, so, t to use a metaphor, um, is it the face of the clock, you know, or is it the clockwork of aging, you know? And um, no doubt the epigenetic clock must relate to at least one causal process because it predicts lifespan, you know. <laughs> if it didn't relate to a causal process, it, it wouldn't be able to predict how long you live. Or, uh, yeah. Now, um, but, but the real question is perhaps, what if you changed the methylome, you know, if you had an intervention, you changed DNA methyl transferases, you, you kind of, uh, inter I want to call it the superficial way of perturbing the clock. Would that, um, so, um, would that um, have a benefit, you know? And personally, I don't have an answer to it yet, you know. Mm -hmm. These locations are not unique, you know. And um, when you look at the genome, um, we have, um, in principle, 28 million locations in the genome um, are cytosines, you know. <laughs> and I want to say a quarter of them change with age. Some of them gain methylation, some of them lose methylation. So these methylation changes are almost global, you know. And in that sense, epigenetic clocks um, look at perfect representatives of the entire what is known methylome they they represent everything that's going on but um, you can see that maybe looking at only 300 locations is um, is not ideal you know um, having said this we certainly did look at it and say are these locations enriched you know with certain pathways and no doubt they are, they are, you know. So sites that gain methylation with aging um, are known to be located in so-called polycomb group protein target sites. So th certain proteins that play a very important role in maintaining stem cells, you know, or conversely sites that play a role in cell differentiation and development. So these sites um, tend to gain methylation with aging, you know. Um, the sites that lose methylation um, also are enriched with uh, certain themes. For example, often they're uh, in so-called enhancer regions, you know. So, so, so um, the field um, of epigenetics has very much characterized the genome, what, which parts change with aging. There's wonderful review articles on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then the the. I just got on the stem cell thing. That's just so interesting that a lot of those are yes. regulating it's stem cell function. It, it, because yeah. it's just Coming back to the mechanism of the clock, that's really an, a profound insight, you know, that um, when you look at the data, you keep see, seeing themes related to development, right. tissue differentiation, organ development. And it is a profound insight because um, if you had asked an aging researcher five years ago whether developmental processes matter in aging, they would have said no, you know. Um, many people think of aging as noise or uh, right um, uh, wear and tear, right. you know. But these epigenetic clocks have really linked uh, development to uh, um, tissue dysfunction in a direct manner. An epigenetic clock is a continuous readout that r um, links um, prenatal tissues directly to um, very old samples. It's really you know? blowing yeah. my mind.